Hello, everybody. My name is Misty, and I just want to say thank you for checking out my videos, and I really do like cars a lot. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but um, it just kind of happens to, happens to you. You don't plan for it. You don't plan to like something. I guess kind of like how you don't plan to like someone. And when that happens, I think a few things run through the mind, such as the, pr the processing going on. Should I be liking this? And maybe I shouldn't be. Why does this happen right away? Why does this happen to a person? Why not just embrace it? So um, I am the sort of person that does embrace liking things when I start to like it. And I don't question it. I don't say, oh, this could be terrible because I know genuinely deep down I come from a place of goodness and responsibility and um, kindness and when I start to like things I know that it comes from that place so I don't question why I am liking it I don't question it I just I embrace whatever it is that I start to like and um, I, I don't have an addictive personality so I suppose that helps maybe for people who have addictive I don't really know what an, what an addictive personality is maybe a person that is unhappy so I'm not unhappy so so when things happen like for instance coming across this RX-7 uh, uh, which I've never experienced before it is a whole new perspective on cars and I think I understand why people become excited about cars and they go to car shows they go to car races and events like that because it's it adrenaline pumps through your veins it's an excitement it's very fun um very similar to skiing if you've ever skied and you you know that really fun excitement that's what it's like to be around amazing cars and to drive a car and to own fun cars and be around them and I don't know how to explain it. It's just an amazing thing, this machinery. Now, there's another part of this. So this is where I'm going back to um, questioning whether or not you should be liking something. Now, we all know cars pollute the environment. And right now, everyone is talking about, oh, you have to be responsible and protect the environment and you know, be a good citizen and this and that. So, I mean, I look at the big picture. I look at what what it is that I can contribute into being a good person for this environment. And um, I, I don't travel a lot. So why don't we just look at people who travel a lot? Okay, so you are, everyone knows that that causes a lot of pollution in the environment. Going on an airplane, traveling, causes a lot of pollution. So if you stop traveling and start Skyping or doing things that uses the technologies, then you don't pollute the environment, right? So I, I don't travel a lot. So why don't we just say, Missy doesn't travel a lot, so she can have a sports car. How about that? Yes, that sounds good to me. I mean, I can't help but take Leonardo DiCaprio as a perfect example, and hypocritical or not, it's part of his job description to travel a lot. And that's an excuse everyone can say, but you know what? You do have a choice, just like how I have a choice, to not have a sports car, and everyone has a choice about their job. Well, take a different job that doesn't make you travel a lot. How about that? So there is no excuse if you really want to contribute to saving the environment on planet Earth. Um, so I'm not really doing anything that is against the polluting of the environment. I drive a little sports car on the weekend, and I don't drive it during the weekdays. In fact, are we all supposed to live in huts in the forest? I don't know. But yeah, it would be great to have cars that are um, gas-free. Maybe they will have 
the ability to convert these. I mean, they, you, you can. You can put in the time and have um, engines and cars that don't. But it's, I don't know how to explain it. Yes, it's terrible. It's terrible how cars pollute the environment. What can you do? Ugh. I just love it so much. So how about this? Get rid of all the airplanes and stop traveling for your work all around the world and then come at me with, I shouldn't own a sports car. But until then, I'm going to own a sports car. So don't get mad. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> I'm just looking at myself and I'm thinking, wow, this woman is just being her own person and not trying to. Look at that. There's a moth on my ceiling. You can't see it, but it's bouncing around up there. I can see it. Yes, this woman is just doing what she wants and not hurting anybody. Oh. I drove in a Maserati last year with my friend. And she was she witnessed the whole thing. I had and I don't drink. I do not drink. I mean I am one of those people but if I go to a party in one year, maybe I'll I will you know, it was an accident. They had 70 proof uh, alcohol, and I drank a little thing, and I got really drunk right away. I had no idea it was going to be like that. Anyways, I was done for the rest of the night, but my friend didn't drink, so she was around me the whole time. It was great. Anyways, so we ended up, um, not ended up, but we, you know, went for a ride in a Maserati. <laughs> and I was too, I wish that I could have experienced it not drunk. But now I sound like some idiot that drinks, but I'm not. You know, everybody has that time in their life in one year where they they have a, a few drinks or whatever, and they had a good time. And it wasn't like a depression drinking or anything like, anything like that. I don't know why I have to explain it. It was a, I had a fun night. I had a, uh, enjoyed myself with my friend. And anyways, I wish that I wasn't because that was a fabulous car, and I would never mix the two together like drinking and then being in a car driving around and I, I would never drink and drive but I mean you know that kind of thing if you're going to be in a nice car don't drink even if you're a passenger I mean well obviously obviously if you're a driver don't drink but if you're going to be a passenger and you're going to be in a really fun awesome car why are you being uh, it wasn't the plan the plan was I mean there wasn't really a plan The plan there was, we went to her friend's birthday party in Irvine and Orange County. It was really fun. A bunch of people I don't know, her friends. And, um, you know, I was friendly with a lot of people and telling jokes, anecdotes, stories, blah, blah, blah. And anyways, they're like, oh, let's go check out your music. And so we went drive to her house to get my CD player. I mean, get my CD. Yeah, it was on the CD desk. And I don't know why I'm telling this story. I don't want to tell this story. But the point is, I was in a Maserati, and I wish I didn't have drinks that night, so I couldn't enjoy the experience. But the guy, well, I mean, was the friend of her, 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 of her friends, the the girl that was having a birthday party's brother that, that was throwing the party, his friend was spoiled and didn't care. He knew he had a fancy car, and it was on a lease. Maserati Quattroporte. Is it Quattroport? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> fast cars are fun. Oh, I love fast cars. I love fast cars. Yes, I do. Okay, bye.